Hey, what's happening, YouTube? Rajay back to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I'm going to take a look at one today from here in Cincinnati. This is going to come from Ryan Geist Brewing. This is their Hustle, which is their Rye Pale Ale. And try to get out of the light there if I can. But this one is actually one that was formulated as a uh, dedication to Charlie Hustle, who, of course, is Pete Rose, who played for many years with the Cincinnati Reds. Hustle Rye Pale Ale. Off at the crack of the bat, spikes dug in, exploding with speed. Hustle breaks the game wide open. Hopped with Australian Galaxy Hops, this rye pale ale balances peppery rye with notes of ripe apricot and fresh cut grass. So there we go, 5.6 ABV on this one, 40 IBU. I've had this one in the past, but I have not done a review on it. So let's go ahead and get it open, get it out of the can and into the glass. So there we go, we get it into the glass, came out with a nice two finger of head. The head itself is just off-white, some nice bubble action on it. It has a little bit of a rockiness. As far as the beer itself, a nice amber color, does have some good clarity. The beer will actually highlight better when you hold it up to the light. To the light, um, just from the computer, I can see through it. You can see all the bubble action taking place, all the lobby carbonation away from the light as you can see there a little harder to see through it but a nice looking rye pale ale as far as the aroma oh yeah um, it does get the apricot out very nicely as mentioned you do get some of the the spicy kick that you're going to expect to have on here uh, you do pick up a little bit of that pepper you get a nice decent amount of the hops action in play you're picking up a little bit of that um, pine, as it mentioned on the can, uh, like kind of that lawnmower type grass. Really nice earth smelling beer. But overall, very decent. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check the taste. Very nice mouthfeel on this one. Comes in being a nice medium body. Flavors open up nicely. You do get that pepper on the taste. Uh, a little bit of that spice kick. Bitterness is right to the front of the tongue. Duration on the Flavor is a very nice one. Uh, I'm going to say just about average to maybe a little bit uh, of a long type duration. You can definitely see sitting back and enjoying this one and letting the flavors really work itself around. On the back end, it goes down very smooth. Really no bitterness there. A little bit of a astringency. Yeah, definitely have the astringency as it gets under the lips a little bit. But I, I'm very pleased with the overall amount of flavor that you get out of this one and how it does get up into pretty much the cheek area and kind of provides that nice kind of uh, spice boost to this beer. This will probably be a nice one to have with some spicy type food. I can see enjoying this with this with this maybe with something Mexican um, where you have some of those spices kicking around. Definitely something maybe a little more salty of a type food as well. I think that would match up a little bit better with this one. But as far as anything else with this beer, very nice tasting, not too watery, holds together, very nice on the texture. If you're not a fan of spicy type beers, this is one that you may not find as favorable. Some people that don't like a lot of the holiday beers because of the spice, this is kind of one that may turn you off a little bit, but if you do dig the spice, it definitely um, goes over well. Uh, the spice on this one is different than a lot of the ones you get around the holiday where it's like kind of the nutmeg or the cinnamon. This one with the pepper taste is different, but no complaints on my end really. Great sensation in the mouth. On the palate, the carbonation is nice as well. Overall, I think it's a pretty decent beer. It's going to be one that, um, like I said, won't go with everything. Uh, it's not one that I would probably have maybe midday if I'm out doing things around the yard as a refresher. This is one to more kick back and relax to. And again, that gets kind of into that spicy type taste, but for going into the early evening, enjoying it with maybe something off the grill, uh, some spicy type food, as I mentioned, I think this one comes into play nicely. But I think they went for everything that they were striving for on this one and met everything they kind of said it was going to do. So I think solid overall. So I'm going to give this one actually a B rating, which is a 3.5. I think it's definitely one to, to give a try. If you're not familiar with Ryan Geist out of Cincinnati, would definitely say check them out. Um, they're probably one of the better 
uh, IPA producers we have in the region. And in fact, I think in the country they're number two now for IPA production um, as far as rated by beer fans out there. But one of the uh, becoming quickly one of the uh, staples of Cincinnati in the beer world. So again, that's Ryan Geist, and this is their hustle, the Rye Pale Ale. If you had this one before, let me know. I know I have a few of the people out there that are from the Cincinnati area. Let the people know what you kind of think of the hustle as well. Put some comments in the comment section. But uh, not a bad beer. So I appreciate you swinging by and check out another video as always. Hopefully I'll catch you on the next one here. And if you like what you saw, please remember to hit that like button. And of course, just subscribe to stay up to speed on the videos. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and say cheers. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers.